Well, this is our fourth cast of the day and it's the third fish. A lovely start to this session. I'm actually here today on one of my favourite venues. This is Underbank Reservoir. It's not far from where I live in Sheffield and it's the perfect location and the perfect opportunity to show you a couple of brand new products that we brought out. These are products that I've been using for almost a year now. It's a third species. <laughs> nice little perch. These are a couple of brand new feeders that we brought out and this is a great opportunity where I could just kind of show you the two different designs, why they are designed the way that they are and I could just briefly show you how and when we would use, it, use each one. So the first design that I really want to show you is the one that I'm actually using today. We've got a little bit of a tricky wind today, it's from the left and in, and this is the perfect style of feeder for this. As you can see from the design of it, it is got a weight at the front of it, which means that it cuts through the wind really, really easily. It obviously helps you with your accuracy of casting as well. And when you've got a wind like this, because you've got such a, a pointed weight at the front, because it's so streamlined, because the side profile is so small, it cuts through this wind perfectly. And it, it's, you know, I've had a couple of casts today where there's just been a sudden gust of wind and I, I honestly thought it was just going to drift the feeder off a little bit, but it didn't. It's cut straight through that wind. And that's why feeders like this are ideal for when you've got tricky conditions. They obviously lend themselves to fishing at range as well. So if you are going to be fishing, you know, 50, 60, even 70 meters, we have got feeders in weights that will get you to those ranges really quite easily. But I'm a massive believer of making your fishing as easy as possible for you. And so I will use feeders like this, even at short range, because it means you can get away with a feeder that's that much lighter. You know, you might be fishing 30 meters, you might need a 20 or 30 gram feeder in some styles, but with this style, you could get away with a feeder about 15 gram, which on some days, especially on lakes where you might be fishing over a soft bottom, or if you just want to sneak a feeder in, you know, and be a little bit more discreet, then that's when feeders of this design can really give you that edge. Now one of the key aspects to this feeder that was highlighted through testing and that was the size of the holes. There are similar feeders like this out there on the market but the holes are really quite small and when you're using certain baits it can actually stop the bait from, from you know, emptying from the feeder. You'd fill the feeder from the top edge and because the weight is at the bottom that can obviously stop the bait from coming out especially on retrieve. So one of the key things that we changed through the design and testing phase was to simply open up the holes. So the holes are much much larger now and that allows the bait to empty much much easier and particularly if you're using larger baits like you might be using corn or pellets then obviously having larger holes will mean that it just makes it a much more versatile feeder. So because we've got a bit of a tricky wind today, I'm using a very versatile rig, you know, you can see the feeder I've got on there. Now the range that I'm fishing today is 50 meters and I'm hitting that range really, really quite, you know, really quite easily with this setup. Obviously the rod and reel make a huge difference. I've got a 12 foot rod, which is going to get you there easier, make the job nice and easy for you. But the rig I've got set up, as you can see, I've got the orbit feeder on there. This one's 40 gram. Now that wind's dropped a little bit, I could step that down to a 30 gram and if it stays like this then that's definitely something that'll do but this 40 gram is just cutting through that wind really really easily and I've just got this on a nice simple helicopter rig. Just It's a super versatile rig, it's a rig that we use for a lot of our certainly longer range fishing which is exactly what we're doing today but obviously having a rig like this it's just super super it's robust it's great on natural venues when you might be faced with rocks and things and it is virtually anti-tangle as well i've got a one meter hook length we're fishing for roach perch skimmers anything like that so a nice one meter hook length is going to help me catch any fish that might be up in the water just gives them that little bit of extra time to spot that bait and follow it down
Well, this one feels a little bit of a better fish. I've come here today to fish for bites, basically, so I haven't been too selective on the bait front. Natural venues like this often respond to natural baits, and that's exactly what I'm using. So the bait tray, I mean, the, the mix, I haven't gone down a too selective route as regards fish meal, so I'm using a non-fish meal combination of the so natural black and sweet skimmer, which is a, I, I really like this mix. This is a mix that I use, I've used in Ireland and some of the natural venues here in England. So it's just a 50-50 mix of that. I've got some maggots, dead maggots. This looks like a nice skimmer, this one. I've got some maggots, I've got some casters and some worms as well. I'm just chopping a little bit of chopped worm. It's a nice little skimmer, that one. Lovely stamp of fish. As you can see, just on two dead maggots, bronze dead maggots. I like to use bronze on some of these venues. I just think it just stands out that little bit little bit more, especially in clear water. I think the fish pick that bait out much quicker. So we're getting response now, we're getting a few bites. I, I'm getting the impression that there's probably more fish out there than what I originally thought we were going to be faced with. So that means that I'm going to want to feed more. So that means I'm going to be having a, a change of feeder. I'm going to change to the second style of feeder that I want to show you. This is the style of feeder, which is a, a bottom weighted feeder. And this is one which carries more capacity. So on scenarios like this, where I want to feed a little bit more, then that's the style of feeder that I'll be using. So because it's a weight forward feeder, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the weight forward, which is going to cut through that wind, and it's going to help you to just hit this sort of a range really nice and easy. But you've also got that added capacity as well. So it gives you the option of feeding more but it means because of the design, because it's really smooth on the inside, it just means that that ground bait and the bait is going to exit the feeder much, much easier. These bottom weighted feeders come in four different sizes. We've got extra small, small, medium and large and they range in weights from 15 grams to 50 grams. So there's something in the range that's going to suit virtually any scenario you're going to be faced with in your feeder fishing. Likewise, the Orbit feeders come in a large range of sizes and weights as well. We've got four different sizes, extra small, small, medium and large. And the weights of the Orbit feeders go and range from 15 grams right the way up to 60 grams. As you can imagine, that's the kind of weight feeder that you're going to need when you are fishing at extreme ranges. So you're going to find that there's something in that range as well that's going to suit lots of your feeder fishing scenarios. As you can imagine, your choice of rod and reel can make this job much, much easier for you. We've got a couple of cracking feeders here that are going to, that's helping me to cut, you know, cut into this wind, maintain the accuracy, which can be so important, but the rod and reel choice can obviously make a huge difference to that as well. I don't know what we've hooked here. It feels a different fish, this one. I'm using the new HX Pro reel. Let's swing this one. On the perch, that one. I'm using the new reel, which is something that I've been using for this style of fishing for almost a year now. I've got that coupled with um, 0 0.10 submerged braid. I've got an up and down eight pound leader on there as well. So it's just a really nice natural water braid setup. 12 foot rod, that's gonna make hitting this range much, much easier. This is a, a 90 gram rated rod and this just means that I could easily cast with the right feeder, of course out there to 60, 70 meters if I needed to with this setup. It just means it's really nice and versatile. And you know, let's face it, quite often on venues like this, conditions can get even worse. And if that was to happen, because I've got a rod and reel and a setup that's slightly over gunned and will allow me to go further, it means that if that wind did increase drastically, like it can do on these venues, it means I'm still gonna be able to hit that range that I'm fishing now. Well, 
this has been a really enjoyable session. Even the sun's broken through, which I didn't expect, which is nice. It looks like we're going to be finishing on a fish. I really hope that you've enjoyed just seeing an insight into these two new products. We've been using these for almost a year now and they've really fitted into some of our fishing both on natural venues and on commercial venues as well. But hopefully you found this insight useful and hopefully you're going to find a place for these styles of feeders in your armory. So keep your eye out for these feeders. They are going to be in the shops really, really soon.